Hey everybody, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with my new show called The Parlay Party. I'm going to start doing this here for January 1st, 2023, so we are in it now. All right, folks, so uh, this is what we're going to do. Give you an idea. I'm going to drop one of these every day uh, on the parlays that I have, uh, maybe a two, three-team parlay, maybe even get into some teaser action. Um, but listen, I, I recommend straight betting. I want to get come out with saying that uh, right right out the gate here because I'm going to get a lot of slack for parlays and everybody hates parlays and this and that. I like them. I like a teaser. I like a good team, te a three, four team teaser. I also like a good parlay. So without further ado, I made some graphics here for you guys. Also, uh, just to give you an idea of like kind of where I'm sitting with my parlays. We're not going to get stupid with these. We're not going to get crazy. These videos are going to be five, maybe seven minutes long. Not a whole lot. Um, just a couple teams throwing together in a parlay where I'm at I'll, on the, on these, on these NFL games this is where I'm going with tomorrow. Cause it's Sunday. We will do some mixed sports, basketball, hockey, uh, as football starts to die down. Uh, so let's get right into this. I've made a three team parlay for you guys. Plus four, 14 shop your lines. That's going to adjust. You guys know the deal. Um, if you guys have a parlay that you like yourself for, these are for Sunday, January 1st games. Okay, Sunday, January 1st, 2023. What? New Year, all kinds of winning. Just waiting to happen. Um, don't forget to comment in the comment section of this video. I would love to hear some of your parlays and where you're at on these. No lottery tickets. Uh, no 7, 8, 10 team parlays. We're not trying to do all that. That's a lottery ticket. I'm talking about money in my pocket. Legitimate parlays I think I can have a shot at. Plus 414. I'm not betting a lot of units on these. I'm half unit these. OK, I'm trying to win a unit. So whatever you need to do to win that unit, maybe a quarter in this situation, about a quarter uh, unit will get me a whole unit, roughly. Detroit Public School math. OK, we're just rounding this up. Here's what I like right now. I like the Buccaneers money line, Green Bay money line, Steelers money line, money line. I'm going to break these down as to why quickly. Favorite Panthers at the Bucks, minus three and a half over under 40. Favorite is five and one against the spread in their last six meetings. And let's be honest, it's Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. That's Tom Brady the GOAT. Okay, so that's where I'm going with this one. I like Tampa Bay on the money line. I just think in a just divisional matchup, I think Tom Brady's gonna somehow find his way back to the playoffs. I just can't bet against them. So I'm gonna take the road. I'm sorry, the home team at home here. Just money line. I don't want to deal with the points in the hook. Next one on the slate, and you guys should be surprised. I didn't put the Lions on here, and that's my team. We all know that. Vikings at the Packers, another three-number, number, another divisional matchup. This one, Vikings are 0-3-1 against spread in the last four against the NFC. The Vikings are also 4-9 and nine against the spread in the last 13 games in Green Bay, which is very much important here. Um, home team, 9-4 against the spread in their last 13 meetings. See all these all these factors against the spread against the spread and spread. Lean Green Bay at home. Green Bay's got them going for the divisional matchup. Minnesota's already clinched the division. Really can't move up in their rankings. Uh, Green Bay, this matters. Minnesota doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters. They want to beat the Packers. Who doesn't want to? But that that's not going to really factor into this. Also, next one on the slate: Steelers, Ravens. Ravens two and a half, over under 35. Steelers are four and one in their last five overall uh, against the spread. Road team is four and one in their last five meetings against the spread. And the Ravens are one, six and one against the spread in their last home games. You're going to see this on a teaser as well for me. I love the Steelers. Mike Tomlin has never had a losing season. They're seven and eight right now. I look for them to win out. I love the Steelers right now in their matchup against the Ravens. No Lamar. Um, Steelers defense with Joey Bosa. Uh, I know Miles Jack is questionable, but I really, really like the Steelers in this matchup. I'm just going to take them on the money line. And when you do that, that's how I got to my 414 number. So I might throw a little, you know, a little half unit, quarter unit there. That's what I like. Don't forget, like, comment uh, in, your, in the comment box. Give me your parlays, what you guys like, all that good stuff. I do have a teaser here for you, and I'm going to pull that up as well. I want to hear what you guys have to say, though, um, on all your parlays, or if you got a teaser, too. I'm big into teasers, though. That's just kind of what I do. Um, but don't forget, give me a like. 
our show. We're going to do this 365 times for the next 365 days. Give me a like, will you? Uh, all right, six-point teaser. You, did, you weren't getting out of this show without hearing some Lions talk. So this is it. Screenshot it to bet it. Plus 170, it's plus money on a six-point three-team teaser. Here's how we're going to get there. Ready? Colts Giants. Under is eight and three in the Colts' last 11 road games. Under is four and one in the Giants' last five games in January. This is just a giant. Both offenses are just horrible right now. Um, I look for both teams to run the ball. I look for both teams to do very little in this game. This game ends up like 13 10. I'm not surprised. I love the under. It's outside in New York as well. Weather could, you know, cold weather, indoor stadium or indoor team with the Colts. Going to the outside uh, in January, tough place. Uh, I'm going to tease this 39 up to 45. And then what I'm going to take on the next one, you really want me to break down the Lions for you? But I will. Lions are 4-0 against the spread in the last four home games. Bears are 1-8 against the spread in their last nine against NFC North teams. That's horrible. Uh, Lions are 8-0 against the spread in their last eight NFC North opponents against their last NFC North opponents. Wouldn't take this six down to a pick them. Take the Lions and walk out of this team. This means more than the Lions. Bears aren't making the playoffs, and they're trying. Ox Maybe a little bit get first overall pick in 2023. I am taking the Lions. You guys know how that works. I mean, come on. I'm Detroit Lenny, what the hell did you think I was going to take the Bears? All right, so Steelers, Baltimore. Steelers, I told you guys, I broke this down why earlier. I still like this matchup. I still 100% like this matchup. I'm taking the Steelers. If they don't cover, I like them just on the money line. I put them in a parlay. I also like them in a teaser. Take that two, two and a half up over touchdown here. This game is definitely decided within a touchdown. That's what I like there, and that's how you get kind of two. Plus 170 on a three-point teaser. You guys, like, comment, share. Uh, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications as always. Picks and parlays. This way you'll never miss a picks and parlay show. I'm Detroit Lenny with picks and parlays. This is my parlay party. We're going to try and make some money in 2023. Give me a like. Give me a share. I expect to see your comments below.